Hey guys, all right, so today what I'm doing is I'm going to do, I'm gonna drink this Zevia in 30 minutes. I'm gonna check my glucose and ketones and see if uh, this has any media effect on it for me. All right guys, so pre-reading, we've got 2.2 on the uh, ketones and 80 on the glucose. This is before I'm about to drink this Zevia. I'm doing a, doing a test in 30 minutes to see if there's any, what happens? Mm. Cheers. I'm just gonna say, I'm not expecting this to read very much because it really doesn't have anything in it except stevia leaf, generally speaking, doesn't raise or lower uh, ketones or glucose, at least from my, the way that I feel when I eat it, like my physical energy. I'm assuming it's not gonna change too much. The second thing, I do not know what this ingredient, this tartaric, I'm not sure what that is. And then there is, uh, or tart it's tartaric acid and citric acid. So I actually don't know if those have, generally speaking, any effect on glucose or ketone levels. I'm assuming based on the quality of the ingredient and what might be in it, there could be some effect that it has. This is my favorite. This one's good at night because it doesn't have any caffeine in it which is, and you have to be careful when you buy the Zevia, the cans almost look identical. The ones that have caffeine and no caffeine, but I believe the cola flavor only has 35 milligrams of caffeine in a can when you do get the caffeinated, but the, the caffeine free one, really like that one just in the evening or whatever, if I'm trying to just, you know, relax and get ready for bed. Hands down favorite, 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 favorite sugar-free soda. I do not drink I do not eat aspartame anymore. Many years ago, I used to have that once in a while and I used to have sucralose. Zevia, just because of the ingredients and everything and the way that uh, the quality of it, we get the root beer, we get the orange, we get all the flavors wherever we can find them. Sometimes it's hard to find the cola flavor, particularly. I have not had a meal in about five hours. So this is the only liquid or food I've had. I think it's gonna be a pretty clean test. So I don't know if this test is going to be really accurate for you on, in the same circumstance. But one thing I can say for sure is that, and this has been said many times by professional doctors and uh, anyone who's has entertained the ketosis lifestyle, smartest thing you can do is look out for hidden ingredients. And, and they're so tricky. Like for example, I'm gonna be doing a video on a bar, an IQ bar. I'm gonna do the same test. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna get that done tomorrow. Uh, this IQ bar, hands down, the most flavorful bar I've ever had. Basically, it's got like almost no carbs in it. Very clean, nice ingredients with exception to one I just learned about, which is a tapioca related ingredient that apparently is why it probably tastes so good. But my understanding is from several different videos that I've viewed from some doctors breaking down the ingredients that the tapioca uh, ingredient is actually like a starch and it potentially is more dense than actual sugar in terms of how it can affect your glucose. So the founding of all that with that data is that these are newer formulas of sweeteners. So they haven't really stood the test of time in terms of what they cause in the body and how they can affect ketosis or how they can affect glucose and blood sugar levels and all that. But the point is, hidden ingredients is the key to understanding what you're actually eating because it's so easy to just see a box that says keto friendly on it or you know low in sugar or low fat whatever it says and you break start to break down the ingredients and you realize that it's not what you thought it was or you would you wouldn't have eaten it had you really understood what those ind individual ingredients are so i just finished the can i i drank it pretty slow i was instructed to always start counting the time at the moment you start eating or the moment you start drinking a beverage, for example, as, as the time of when, uh, when the clock starts basically on the countdown. So normally I would do 30 minutes, 60 minutes and 90 minutes, a really thorough test of a product. But again, because I haven't eaten in five hours, I've been basically on a five hour fast, except this, I drank a lot of fluids early today. So I wasn't even thirsty this afternoon. The problem that I had and the reason why I made this change in the way that I conduct my dietary habits is because I would get really tired after I would eat certain foods. Like I would just be so tired, physically tired, spike and then a crash, you know? And I've spoken to a lot of people and they have a very similar thing with certain foods and certain types of foods, whatever. So what I wanted to do was really see and try some different things 
and one of them was cutting out sugar. And for a long time, I even cut out caffeine, but the sugar was the big one. And when I, when I cut out sugar, I really started cutting out all forms of sugar. My dog is dancing right now. One thing I can say for sure is that really do your homework. Talk to your doctor, talk to your healthcare provider, someone that really knowledgeable about glucose and ketones and sugar and foods. So many foods convert to sugar in the body and they, they basically cause the same reaction as if I was just eating sugar. Sugar for me causes that energy increase and then just a drop. I knew I needed to change something. That's why I started doing this in the first place. I'm gonna be taking the test here in just a second and we're gonna get the final final results. I, I hope you can hear the sound of my dog drinking because she's very thirsty right now. And um, she, by the way, is on a meat diet. It's probably better, I would argue, it's probably cleaner than a lot of my friends eat. And she's really, really healthy. And she's like over 10 years old and she's amazingly healthy. So we're really happy about that, the way that she acts and wags her tail and has energy even to play still, which is really cool. So I'll share some videos of her later, but today this is about Zevia and ketones and glucose on a 30 minute test to see if this thing really does. We think it claims it, it should really have no effect. Let's check it out. And the glucose went down to 79, actually went down. Okay, let's do the ketones. Let's see what's up. Ketones went up to 2.8. Let's talk about this for a second because I didn't expect this. I thought that it was just gonna be the same. The fact that I had liquid in the body after five hours, basically nothing, because I drank a ton of liquids this morning, I ate lunch, I just wasn't thirsty this afternoon, and then I had this. So again, ketones 2.8, that is up, I believe, by 5.5. .5. And then glucose was 79. It went down a point. I mean, 80, I like being in that range personally. 79, I just, it went down. Like I thought, I really thought after 30 minutes, my glucose levels went down and my ketones went up. What can I say? It's a good sign in my opinion. All right, that's it guys. So that's the deal. I put the link to Zevia down here and I put a link to the Keto Mojo device, that the specific one that I use. It's an uh, authorized vendor of that product. Always want to make sure you buy it from the correct place. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos about uh, these different types of products because I actually have a ton, ton of keto type related products that are very low in sugar and they're designed really to eat, you know, eat when you're on a low carbohydrate lifestyle. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment and I'll be happy, like if there's a specific product you want me to try out, <laughs> I'm not gonna guarantee you that I'm gonna try it, but if there's a specific product you want me to try, just to see what my reaction is to it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. All right, check out the description below. There's more details I provided, just some other cool data that I found about Zevia. And uh, again, I got the links down there to the stuff that I used in here. And again, comment if you want the name of, name a product, literally name a thing that you want me to try out. And I will not promise you I'm gonna do it, but uh, depending on what it is, because I know somebody's gonna be like, try like seven Snicker bars and see what happens. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something, maybe some something interesting. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.